Yeah. <clears throat> so um, now the class is live in YouTube, right? Um, I have been discussing the uh, impedance matching techniques, right? So impedance matching techniques are used to match the impedance of a transmission line. Right. So, why impedance is required? Why do, why impedance matching is required for maximum power transfer? Right. So, transfer from source to load. Right. So, and um, um, to avoid reflections at the load. Right. To avoid reflections at the load, we need uh, impedance matching. So, to provide impedance matching for the transmission lines. Um, we have uh, different impedance matching techniques. Uh, in my last class, I have uh, discussed uh, one method. There are two methods, quarter wave transformer and stub matching. In the last class, I have discussed a quarter wave transformer, right? Um, quarter wave transformer. So what is meant by quarter wave transformer? A piece of transmission line of length lambda by four. A piece of transmission line of length lambda by four is inserted between load and the main line, right? Inserted between the load and the main line, it is called as a quarter wave transformer, right? Quarter wave, because the length of uh, uh, the section of transmission line is lambda by four, transformer, because it transforms the impedance, right? It transforms the impedance. And uh, how it provides uh, impedance matching that we have uh, uh, derived and uh, we have discussed mathematically, right? So this is what we have discussed in our uh, last class, right? So let me switch over to the new topic today, that is stub matching, right? So uh, stub matching. Right. Stub matching um, is an impedance matching technique. Right? Impedance matching technique. Right? It is an impedance matching technique. One of the impedance matching technique. And uh, stub matching is of uh, two types. Uh, before before that, uh, before going for uh, the types of uh, stub matching, let me uh, define what is stub matching, right? So stub in the sense, a piece of uh, transmission line, just like a quarter wave transformer, uh, stub is also a piece of transmission line, right? A piece of, transmission line. So this transmission transmission line may be of uh, open circuited or short circuited, right? Transmission line, a piece of transmission line, it may be open circuited or short circuited. A piece of transmission line is connected, connected, Right, connected in parallel. A piece of transmission line connected in parallel um, at a distance, at a distance from the load, right? At a distance 
from the load is called as a stub right so stub stub in the sense stub in the sense piece of transmission right it is a piece of transmission line line it may be open circuited or short circuited it is called as um, a stub right so stub matching as i said is of uh, two types right one single stub matching right single stub matching and uh, second one double stub matching right single stub matching and double stub matching these are uh, the two types of uh, stub matching we have right so single stub matching single stub matching in the sense only one piece of transmission line is connected and whereas double stub matching in the sense two uh, sections of transmission lines are connected uh, at a distance from the load it is double stub matching right so for example um, I, i will consider a short circuited stub right so because at high frequencies open circuited stub is not preferred right at high frequency in other words at the radio frequencies open circuited stub is not preferred open circuited stub is not preferred why because because um it uh, radiates energy it radiates energy um at uh, rf frequencies right it radiates energy at uh, radio frequencies that means open circuit transmission line acts as a radiator right open circuit transmission line acts as a radiator at the radio frequencies so therefore short circuited stub right short circuited stub is preferred is preferred at uh, rf frequencies right rf frequency in the sense at very high frequencies short circuit stub is preferred at rf frequencies right so coming coming to the open circuited and stop uh, uh, short circuited stubs right uh, uh, let, uh, let me explain single stub match so this is the transmission line uh, as usual we know so this is the conventional uh, uh, transmission line right so that we know so, so here is is the load connected here load impedance and uh, this is the input right input so single stub in the sense um a, a piece of transmission line is connected like this right a piece of transmission line is connected like this right a piece of transmission line is connected like this right uh, at a distance from the load right at a distance l let us say at a distance l ls right stub length or stub distance from the load right ls right and um, this is an open circuited stub right so here it is nothing but stub is nothing but a piece of transmission line which is connected at a distance from the load that is stub right so this is open circuited stub why it is open circuited stub because here it is open right the ends are open if the ends are shorted like this like this if the ends are shorted like this this is called as a shorted stub right shorted stub and uh, this is called as uh, single stub right single stub 
and um, um, the length of the shorted stub. So this is the length of the shorted stub, and let us say d ds, right? So length of the shorted stub is ds, right? So um, length of shorted stub is ds, and the distance. And don't don't get confused, right? So I'm using uh, um, uh, different letters here, right? L is for uh, um, distance at which uh, the stub is connected from the load, and uh, D as length, right? Not L length here. D as length. I'm using that uh, notation, right? So because uh, uh, in, in standard textbooks they are using the, that notation, right? D is for length, and L is for distance. Right, interchangeably, um, 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 they are using the notation. That is the reason why here also I would like to use the same notation here also. Right, so this is single stub, and whereas double stub, so this is uh, in the transmission line as usual conventional transmission line right so double stub means we use two stubs right so here here one so this is shorted stub i'm i'm using the short shorter stub and um, one more stub here one more stub here A short right so here two steps right so this is step one and this is step two right so this is called as a double stub matching double stub matching and this is called as single stub matching right so the only difference between single stub matching and double stub matching is single st in single stub matching only one um, uh, shorted transmission line is connected but whereas in double stub matching we will connect uh, two shorted transmission lines right two shorted transmission lines uh, and uh, preferably the spacing between these two is uh, uh, about lambda by 4 right the spacing the spacing between these two stubs is lambda by four preferably right so that is double stub matching right and um um why why we go for double stub matching whenever there are disadvantages in single stub matching then we use double stub matching right so because there are disadvantages in single stub matching um we, we go for uh, double stub matching right what are what are the disadvantages in single stub matching so here the length of uh, um, the single stub right that means uh, at what point right at what point the stub is to be connected from the load right that distance that is l here right l so calculation of l and uh, length of stub varies uh, with respect to the length of the main transmission line right so for example um, as you know that uh, the length of the transmission line um, varies with frequency right um, so here if the length of the transmission line varies the position of the stub also varies to provide impedance matching right uh, i'm writing here if the length of the main line so this is the main line right main transmission line right main line if the length of the main line varies right if the length of the main line varies position and that is ls and uh, um length that is ds of a stub 
also varies right if the length of the main line varies position and uh, length of the stub also varies right so which is a difficult task all the time whenever uh, the length of the main line changes uh, changing the position of the stub and changing the length of the stub is one difficult uh, task right so therefore uh, to avoid this disadvantage <clears throat> to avoid this disadvantage we use double stub match right to avoid this disadvantage to avoid this disadvantage we we go for double stub matching right we go for double stub matching right so we're in double stub matching no need of uh, changing the position and uh, length of the stub even though the main line uh, uh, length changes right even though the main line length changes right so this is about uh, uh, single stub matching and double stub matching right so stub is a piece of transmission line uh, it may be an open circuited or short circuited right but um, at at high frequencies that means at radio frequencies short circuited stubs are preferred because open circuited stubs acts as radiators at high frequency radiators in the sense antenna right open circuited uh, transmission line acts as an antenna at radio frequencies so therefore at radio frequencies short circuited stubs <clears throat> are used to provide a impedance matching for a transmission line right so now um calculating or deriving the expressions for position of the stub and length of the stub right so that is one uh, uh, task we have right so let me ls position of the stub from the load and um, d is is the length of the stub right length of the stub right so position of the stub and length of the stub right so now we need to derive the expression for ls and uh, expression for ds right expression for ls and expression for ds right so those expression let us uh, try to derive right and uh, one more thing is um impedance matching right impedance matching um means <coughs> here <coughs> um impedance is matched when um the imaginary part of the load is zero right that you know right impedance is matched when impedance uh, uh, um imaginary part of the load impedance is zero right or imaginary part of uh, the total impedance is zero gs plus jbs right ys is equal to gs plus uh, and um, let me explain like this <clears throat> y is equal to g plus jb right where where y is admittance right y is admittance and g is conductance and b is susceptance right so y is equal to <coughs> g plus jb right so y is admittance 
um, G is conductance and B is susceptance, right? So uh, input in no reflections take place, right? When when no reflections takes place, when impedance matching is provided, right? So no reflections occurs. No reflections occurs when y is equal to one plus j zero right no reflections occurs when y admittance is equal to one plus j zero that means real part right real part is resist to and the imaginary part should be equal to zero right so that means what g is equal to one and uh, b is equal to zero right g is equal to one and b is equal to zero right so when this condition is satisfied no reflections take place in any transmission line right in any transmission line when this condition is satisfied right when imaginary part is zero um, um then uh, no reflections occurs right so that is the reason why um to avoid right to avoid uh, um, um reflections right to avoid reflections if input is capacitor output should be inductive if input is inductive output should be capacitor right that means load if input impedance is capacitor load impedance should be inductive if input impedance is inductive uh, load impedance should be capacitor right so that uh, uh, we will get uh, uh, um, um, susceptance zero right so here if you see right if you see this uh, uh, transmission line single stub right single stub uh, here it is a combination of two right let me explain like this main it, it is a combination of main it consists of uh, two sections right one is main line so what is the main line here so this is the main line right so this is the main line right this is the main line and uh, this one is the stub right so this one is the stub right this is stub sorted stub right so this this uh, whatever the figure you are looking at it consists of two sections right one is main line right and another one is shorted stub right so therefore main line is having admittance and uh, shorted stub also having admittance right main line is, let us let us talk in terms of impedance then right? because so far we have discussed in terms of impedance right so main line is having impedance and uh, shorted uh, line is also having impedance right so here admittance of uh, main line right admission admittance of main line is ys is equal to gs plus jbs and uh, similarly admittance of uh, stub yd right because uh, length of the stub here length of the stub is represented with d so therefore admittance is yd right yd is equal to gd plus j bd right so this is for this is for main line admittance of uh, main line and this is the admittance of short circuited stub right so this is the admittance of main line and this is the admittance of short circuited stub right <clears throat> so <clears throat> therefore here uh, in, in order to provide impedance that means to avoid uh, reflections what is the condition here g should be equal to one and uh, susceptance uh, should be equal to zero right so therefore total conductance g s plus g d is equal to one it should be equal to one and uh, b s plus b d is equal to zero right g s plus g d is equal to one b s plus b d is equal to 
zero right so therefore sum of conductance of main line and stub and uh, sum of susceptance of main line and stub <clears throat> right so uh, conductance is equal to one and uh, susceptance is equal to zero <clears throat> right so these two conditions should be uh, satisfied in order to avoid uh, reflections right so this one and um, this one right so total conductance should be equal to one and total susceptance should be equal to zero <clears throat> right so now um let us let us try to determine right let us try to determine what is uh, uh, gs ds and bs bd right so what is the we know that input impedance of main line right input impedance is equal to z naught z naught into zl plus j z naught tan beta l okay here let me let me consider tan gamma l divided by z naught plus oh, sorry <clears throat> here uh, zl plus z naught tan gamma l divided by z naught okay let us let us consider let us consider lossless transmission right so for a lossless transmission line as we know that j z naught tan beta l divided by z naught plus j z l tan beta l right um let, let us say uh, here uh, let me indicate uh, here this is equation one and this is equation two and this is equation three right and uh, similarly the input impedance of a shorted jsc right the, in, the input impedance of a short circuited uh, uh, transmission line and here here it is uh, z d right stub right stub is equal to j z naught tan beta l right so this is uh, the in, the input impedance of a short circuited transmission line this we have uh, uh, discussed earlier shorted line and open circuited lines right we have derived the input impedance of short circuited transmission line and uh, input impedance of open circuited transmission line right so therefore uh, le le let us say this is equation 4 right so this is equation 4 right and uh, <coughs> uh, from equation 4 it is clear that uh, from equation 4 it is clear that uh, there is no real part here right in equation 4 there is no real part here right so real part is zero right real part is zero right so uh, from equation 4 right from equation 4 um gd is equal to zero right from equation 4 gd is equal to zero right why gd because it is a stub right short we, we are considering short circuited stub and we know the impedance of short circuited stub right so gd is zero and bd is equal to uh jet oh sorry sorry so here um gd means what conductance bd means uh, susceptance right so therefore uh, we need to consider right we need to consider the admittances not impedances right so therefore uh, here admittance y s c is equal to one by z s c right one by z s c and this is equal to one by j z naught tan 
beta l and this is equal to minus j right minus j y not cot beta l and which is equal to bd plus j gd right so this is the admittance right so therefore bd is equal to zero and uh, gd is equal to minus y not cot beta l right cot beta l uh, and um, this can be written like this gd is equal to minus y not cot beta d right cot beta d why because uh, uh, the length of uh, the shorted stub right is d right so since since l is equal to d right so here l is equal to in the figure right so in the figure you can see here d right so length of uh, uh, this stub is d yeah so therefore l is equal to d right so therefore we have we have bd is equal to 0 and uh, gd is equal to this one right so with respect to shorted stub right with respect to shorted stub we have conductance which is 0 and uh, susceptance minus y not or beta d right so th that means what we we have we we know gd right so gd is known this one right so gd is known and uh, bd is known right so gd is zero and bd is uh, minus uh, uh, called, uh, this one gd is zero and um, bd right bd is minus y not cot beta d right so in a similar way in a similar way let us try to determine the remaining uh, factors that is gs right gs and uh, bs right so what, what is gs here what is gs here gs is um, the conductance of the main line bs is the susceptance of the main line right so that we can determine uh, from equation 3 right so therefore from equation 3 from equation 3 right um, 1 by z in is equal to 1 by z naught All right um no, sorry so in terms of admittance right one by y in right so since uh here since z in is equal to z z is equal to one by y why z is equal to one by y right so therefore uh, we have to convert input impedance of a transmission line in terms of admittance, right? So because uh, our aim is to determine conductance and susceptance, right? Conductance and susceptance. So therefore, in terms of admittance, one by y in one by y naught, one by y l plus j one by y naught tan beta l divided by 1 by y naught plus j 1 by y l tan beta l right so therefore equation 3 is written in terms of admittance right equation 3 is written in terms of admittance simplifying right simplifying this expression 
um, what will get one by y in is equal to one by y naught. Um, simplifying y naught plus j y l tan beta l divided by y l plus j y naught tan beta l right and um, uh, simplifying further simplifying for uh, uh, for what for y in right so calculate y in so y in y in is equal to um, this one so taking this to the other side y naught y l plus j y naught tan beta l divided by y naught plus j y l tan beta l right and um, further simplifying further simplifying y in by y naught is equal to right so this y in this y naught uh, taking to the left hand side right y naught taking to the left hand side y in by y naught and uh, taking y naught common in both numerator and denominator y l by y naught plus j tan beta l uh, divided by 1 plus j y l by y naught tan beta l right so this is after taking y naught common in both numerator and denominator right and now here y in input impedance right so input impedance or input admittance or source admittance both are same y in is equal to y s capital y s Right. So these, these are same, both are same, right? Therefore, Y is small s here, right? So this is capital S. So this is uh, capital S, right? And uh, this one is small s, right? Small s. This is equal to YL plus J tan beta L divided by one plus j y l tan beta l, right since y small s is equal to y capital s divided by y naught <clears throat> right and uh, similarly y small l is equal to y l by y naught we have just uh, replaced those terms right with y s and y naught right so therefore just for uh, simplification right just for simplification purpose y suffix small s is equal to y suffix capital s by y naught and y suffix small l is equal to y suffix capital l by y naught Right, and this is called as normalized, right? Normalized, um, sorry, normalized input admittance, and this is called as normalized load. admittance right normalized input admittance and normalized load admittance right so whenever admittance is divided with its characteristic admittance in other words whenever uh, impedance is divided with uh, its characteristic impedance then it is called as normalized value right it is called as normalized value right so therefore this one right and now um, in fact, our aim is to determine BS and GS, right? BS and GS. So GS is 
real part b is is imaginary part right gs is real part and bs is imaginary part so therefore we need to we need to determine we need to separate real part and imaginary part right in this equation uh, we need to separate real part and imaginary part so therefore to do so right to determine real part and imaginary part yl plus j tan beta l divided by 1 plus j yl uh, tan beta l into 1 minus j yl tan beta l divided by 1 minus j yl tan beta right multiplying and dividing right multiplying and dividing with uh, the same term right multiplying and dividing with the same term the value would not change right so therefore um, multiplying and dividing with 1 minus j y l tan beta l right and now simplifying this right so simplifying this right so on um, distributive multiplication right um yes rationalize right so now multiplication right so this into this and uh, this into this and similarly this into this and this into this and uh, in the demo in the denominator it is in the form of a plus b uh, into a minus b in the denominator right so on doing so we will get a real part and imaginary part so that i am doing here yl um what what you will get plus yl tan square beta l right so this is the real part you will get plus j um one minus yl i'm sorry let me write so that uh, tan beta l tan beta l minus yl square tan beta l am i right please correct me if i am wrong right real part and image i am separating real part and imaginary part uh, in the denominator a square minus b square right so b square in the sense j square j square is minus one and uh, yl square tan square beta l right so this is uh, y s right am i right right so please uh, correct me if i'm wrong right okay so here um this is equal to okay this is equal to g s plus j b s right where where g s is equal to yl taking yl common one plus tan square beta l divided by one minus one plus yl square tan square beta l right so this is the real part and similarly imaginary part b s is equal to one minus yl square tan beta l divided by one plus yl square tan square beta right so therefore this is the real part of the main transmission line and uh, this is the imaginary part of 
the main transmission line right so therefore i hope uh, it is clear till now right so from equation 1 right from equation 1 and and one more thing let me give uh, uh, equation numbers to this let us say this is equation 5 and this is equation 6 right and uh, this is equation 7 and this is equation 8 right so now um from what shall we do now here uh from equation 1 right from equation 1 from equation 1 right from equation 1 um from equation 1 what we have gs plus gd is equal to 1 right so this is equal to 1 so what is gs what is gd okay let um Let, let me let me do first. Let let me do B first, right? So B B S plus B D is equal to zero, right? Uh, so first i i'm i'm considering equation 2 not equation 1 equation 2 right so from equation 2 uh, even though you can consider equation 1 but uh, um th this will become very easy right so first uh, first i will do easy one and later on i will do the complex one so bs plus bd so what is bs here bs is 1 minus yl square tan beta l tan beta l um divided by 1 plus y l square tan square beta l. tan square beta l plus bd plus bd is zero right this one bd is zero and um, which is equal to Zero, right? So simplifying this, so simplifying this, y minus y l square tan beta l is equal to one plus y l square tan square beta l, right? So simplifying this, simplifying this, simplifying this, what we'll get. Mm, simplifying this um okay um i, I will uh, as the time is uh, moving fast right uh, you simplify later right so simplifying this it is the equation correct yes Yes. B S plus B D. Yes. Yeah. 
Mm. Yes. So here, uh, simplifying this, right? A am I doing right? BS plus BD is equal to zero. Uh, that is from equation two. BS plus BD is equal to no. I think I'm doing wrong here. Last step wrong, then. So actually, here GD is not zero, right? So here, so GD uh, from equation six, GD is not zero, but here uh, I kept zero here, right? But this is not zero. I think this is not zero, and BD is zero. This is zero, right? This is zero. Right, so um, imaginary part uh, is uh, okay. Actually, this is uh, this one here. I have written wrong. This itself is wrong. This should be GD plus JBD. Right, this should be GD plus JBD. G means conductance, B means susceptance. So susceptance is imaginary, right? Uh, yes. So here, this one is BD. This one is BD and uh, this one is uh, GD. GD is zero, right? GD is zero. Right, so this one, um, okay, let me, this step is wrong, right? So, um, so GD, GS plus GD is equal to one from, from equation one only. Right from equation one, GS plus GD is equal to one, right? So GS, um, YL one plus tan square beta, YL one,
right? So Um, we have class, another class we have here. Can we have another class just now? Just now I got a call whenever I receive a call from outside, it automatically mute and uh, we have uh, one more class at two o'clock. Shall I continue or uh, please respond? Post. Are you there? Please respond. Okay, so let us go. Do you have another class? At three o'clock, we have another class. Okay, right? So let us uh, close here and uh, let us continue in the next class, right? Um,